Welcome to the channel. I'm Shadow Scott Swede. Today's topic is breaking news and what's new has come up. Well, before we get into that, we will be back after this message. Welcome back guys, let's get into this video, shall we? Okay, today's topic, as I said earlier, is breaking news. So what's new has come up? Well, I will tell you. When I searched for a suitable topic for today's video, I came by a website, Euractive. And it's obviously a EU-based website. And it is a little bit disturbing what they mention on this website. The headline for this article is Sweden promises more drones facial recognition in gang violence fight. So that doesn't sound that good, doesn't it? Because that will be some issues with that because that can be misused as everything else. And I will read some parts from this article, okay? And I will put the link to this website in the description box as well. So, Sweden plans to deploy more equipment to better tackle gang crime with the government promising the police an additional 2,500 cameras for the next year and allowing the use of facial recognition, easier use of drones and external cameras. Swedish Justice Minister Gunnar Strömer told a press conference on Tuesday. So, what does that say? That is really serious things they come up with here. A serious suggestion. Sweden is to launch a new camera offensive to tackle gang crime as shootings and bombings between rival gangs continue to rock the once peaceful northern kingdom. Cameras are extremely important in a situation like this, said Strömer. In total, the right-wing co coalition parties, moderates, Christian Democrats and liberals want the police to have 2,500 cameras next year. Instead of the previous target of 1,600 with the minister adding that extra cameras should be granted if further investigations into surveillance lead to law. In other words, this means a five-fold increase in the number of cameras since the new government took office, Strömer said. Um, in a situation where fewer and fewer people dare to talk to the police, the need for technical evidence is crucial. And we already know that cameras are extremely important, he said. Okay, I can agree with that, that you need technical evidence is crucial to solve crime and prevent crime. I, I understand that so far. If changes to the law are passed, police will be able to make greater use of facial um, recognition using AI technology in order to make it easier to identify criminals, such as gang members. The government will also wants to make automatic number plate recognition a tool for the police. Under the proposed changes to the law, they will also have more opportunities to use drones 
indirect access to external cameras, such as the Swedish Transport Administration's road cameras, CCTV has been effective in fighting serious crime in other countries, such as the UK, says Liberal MP Martin Mellin, who does not believe that more cameras are a threat to people's privacy. Well, that is a question that can really be discussed. And that is what I'm worried about, that this technology will be misused and used against innocent people. Uh, I don't think people are worried about being filmed, but they are worried about having their house blown up or being shot at while shopping he declared to the press. That's the whole article. Uh, and I can find some more articles about this. But I'm really, really worried about it. Um, is this what we really want in this country? Biometric surveillance, uh, face recognition uh, technology, AI that uh, controls the surveillance cameras. Um, I think that will be a problem for the people's privacy. Sure, they might be worried to have their homes blown up. Of course. But they are, they have their own privacy and they don't want that get uh, disturbed, if you know what I mean, guys. And um, the whole situation, I think that might be a little bit of an overkill, but to fight crimes, well, but don't let that be misused because it will be misused and the problem with a system like that is it can be hacked so how do they think they can protect that system from hackers because a hacker can use that and misuse it for their own purposes. But that is my own opinion. So what do you think, guys? Please let me know in the comments below. And I will put that um, uh, website in the description box, as I said earlier, uh, so you can read and check it for yourself. Um, and so what do you think? I want to hear your opinion about this. And um, I think that this is a important thing to discuss. Uh, this is why this made me pretty upset because that's why I made this video about it. It's all about biometrics, okay? But if they allow drones to fight crimes. Many people who are innocent, they will get on, their drones will pick up, film innocent people as well. So, do you want that? No, I don't think so. So, thank you guys for stopping by. I appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment. And don't forget to ring the notification bell so you get notified when I upload new videos and go live. So, take care, guys. Stay safe. God bless. Stay prepared.